So this will be one of the simpler videos that we do, which is how to add a water plane to our water base. Um, there was a theory video. <laughs> I think there was a theory video I did a while ago on explaining the difference between water base and water plane. Water base being the bottom of your water body, okay? The muck at the bottom, the rock at the bottom, the, you know, the, the what's everything that's down way underneath, you know, considered the bottom of the lake. The water plane is the, is the water on top it is literally the water now in unity we aren't filling the lake with water per se we're putting a plane a flat area on top of your water base and we're essentially uh, assigning it a shader that gives it the reflective and wavy properties of water okay um, but we need to add that water plane here inside of Blender so that we can import it into Unity and then apply that shader, apply that water material to it so it looks like water. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually very simple. The OPC deal tools make it very simple for you to do that. So I got the tools over here and let me clean some of these up for you guys so it's not so, I, so we were working on our water basis and now we've got our water planes section here. And again, just like everything else, we can either work on the selected water body that I have selected right now, or I can do all of them at once. And the only par parameter in here is the outset of the water. And that's going to make sense in a little bit. But essentially what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, what the tools are going to do, the OPCD tools, it's going to look at this outer perimeter of your water body. And it's going to make a water plane that goes just a little bit past it not a little bit, exactly two meters outset beyond it. And you might think, well, why do we want two meters? Don't we want an exact? Well, no, because the water plane is essentially going to sit slightly underneath, okay, this land out here. Because if it didn't, it'd be overflowing, right? Your water can't be higher than the land or else it's overflowing. So if you dug out, okay your water base cor correctly okay using ram or the unity tools really in theory your perimeter around here should be completely level okay and or if you dug it out and your lidar is good this sh should be completely level uh, later on if we get into unity and your water plane is showing up outside of here it's probably because you didn't dig your terrain correctly okay um, but let's just assume that you did so I've got my water base uh, selected here. I'm gonna come up here to my water plane tool. I got selected. I'm gonna keep the outset of two meters and I add water plane. Now, when I do that, this does not look great, okay? It looks actually pretty ugly. Water plane, okay, you can see that it got added. It is a two meter outset. So here's our new water plane. It's also highlighted over here in our hierarchy. So we can see there was a water plane um, shape added. It's completely flat, okay, just like water should be. It's outset two meters, like I said, and its primary channel is red, and it is only red. There are no, there are no blends with a water plane. Um, and let me show you this. Now I'm gonna do something kind of tricky here that you don't need to understand what I'm gonna be doing, but I had this sh shape highlighted. I'm gonna hit grab, which is the G key, and then I'm going to hit Z, which means I'm gonna move it up. And if I do that, you can see now, I lifted my water plane up so you guys can see what it really looks like, okay? Again, it's primary color is red, okay? There are no blends really associated, there are actually no blends associated with it because if they were, there'd be different colors here. Um, but you can see that is my water plane. I'm gonna hit Control Z to move that back down to where it was. Oh, I hit Control Z twice, which means I actually deleted it. So let me come back in here and just add my water plane again. So that's it, that's adding a water plane. You don't need to do anything else in Blender with it. Later on in Unity, we're gonna apply that water material to make it actually look like water and give it some translucence. And don't worry about the height of it now either. That can also be adjusted later on in Unity. Um, if you've got a couple water bodies, there's really not much you can manipulate with the water plane. Uh, what you really are manipulating with the is the water base with those edges and those lips that I talked about in the previous video. So onward.